If you now go to Java Motorcycles uh, website, you see two versions of Java 42 and they are aptly called Java 42 and Java 42. Hi there, welcome back to Creator on Wheels. Today is a very interesting day. Today is 12th February 2021, which is 12022021. It's a palindromic date. On this special date, Java Motorcycles decided to launch an updated version of their Java 42 and it's aptly called Java 42 2.1. This is not the name that they call it with, but this is a name which most of the automobile reviewers are using when they're making videos about it. Now, what exactly this 2.1 is something which I tried to debug in the first case. So I tried to do a little bit of uh, homework and went back in time and figure out how many versions of uh, Java vehicle that uh, Java motorcycles have released. And I realized that Java 1.0 was the one which they announced in 2018 and which was available in 2019. Java 42 1.1 was a vehicle which they updated by introducing dual channel ABS in 2019, which is a vehicle which I have. Java 2.0 is a BSX version which they launched in 2020. And now in 2021, they have released Java 42 2.1. Now, if you might be wondering what is the need for Java motorcycle to refresh the Java 42 line, I personally feel uh, there are three reasons. Uh, this is again, this is my perception about the up, uh, upgrade or the refresh. First thing first, the current generation vehicles have a lot of issues. When I say a lot of issues, there are a lot of issues with the vehicle, be it the engine, be it the gasket issues, be it the uh, infrequent switching off of the vehicle or the lambda sensor triggering, oil leak and so many things. There are so many issues. I'm pretty sure uh, Java was keeping an uh, eyes and ears open uh, on all the forums where the users were complaining about their issues. And I'm pretty sure this refresh fixes all of those issues. I'm keeping my fingers crossed uh, because this is something which the time will tell whether all these issues are resolved. Second thing is the competition has become very, very tight, uh, especially after the introduction of uh, the Meteor 350 and the Honda Highness. There are a lot of options, a lot of good options that are available for buyers when it comes to this 300, 350cc uh, kind of retro classic look uh, motorcycles. Now, Java motorcycle had to buckle up and uh, try to um, woo a lot of younger audience and try to cater for a lot of uh, larger audience and that's probably the reason why they have come up with this updated version of Java 42. Now let me take this opportunity to uh, explain you what are all the new changes that has gone into this bike. Uh, this is totally based on what I have seen in several videos and forums and of course the Java motorcycle website. So there are about like most of the things are cosmetic changes except for a couple of them so i'll try to list down all of them uh, in this video so that you get here in this video a comprehensive list of all the changes that has gone into the java 42 first thing first uh, let's look at three obvious things that you notice as soon as you three, uh, see this uh, new version of java 42 first thing is it comes with three brand new colors which is white black and red and all of them are matte finish and they look absolutely gorgeous note about it uh, you see it and you'll fall in love with it especially the red one it looks like a cherry on top of a cake it's as beautiful as that the second thing is this all blacked out version of this vehicle because unlike the previous generation which they try to maintain this uh, classic retro feel by having a lot of chrome and steel and all those stuff. Now everything has been blacked out. The engine, the engine case, the silencer, everything has been blacked out, which gives it a very unique modern feel to this particular bike. The third and most obvious change is of course the wheels. How can one not notice the brand new alloy wheels, which of course means that we now have tubeless tires on the Java 42. But let's uh, try to get deep into uh, each of the section and figure out what has changed and what has not and what is the new things that is available for the customers. First thing first is the headlight. Though the headlight has not changed, it remains the conventional headlight. So no new LED headlights that come into the Java 42, but it gets two new optional accessories, which is the fly screen and 
headlight grill both of them look very beautiful and it's something which i'm pretty sure uh, will make a lot of head heads done and as i mentioned this is not something which is coming default on the new bikes but this will be available as an optional accessory for the new bike as well as the ones which are already there in the market second thing is the handle nothing has changed in the handle but what has changed is what is there on top of it the conventional mirror has now given way for the bar end mirror which is now a standard according to java motorcycle there has been a small change in the switches the right hand switch console now gets an additional button and also the levers are all blacked out now what is the function of this button that's where the speedometer comes into picture the speedometer now has an additional trip meter trip a and trip b that's i think what they would like to call it so this trip meter is something which is controlled using this button which is now available on the right hand side switch console the speedometer also has uh, one more cosmetic change in the form of uh, better readability of intermediate speed something like 50 70 or 90 kilometers per hour those things um, they made some cosmetic changes to make sure that it's more uh, easily readable but apart from that uh, everything else uh, related to the speedometer and the handle remains same as we move further down uh, the front suspension this is something which seems to have got some attention from the java motorcycles the front suspension has undergone some kind of a tuning when it comes to the preload so this has increased the front uh, suspension travel uh, by a, a noticeable amount which according to the java motorcycle folks will increase the ground clearance now will it really work like this or is it because of one another change that they have done this is something which we can tell only after test riding this bike or the guys who buy this bike have to try and tell it as we move further down the alloy wheels and the tubeless tires are something which catches attention now we have a modern looking uh, all black alloy wheels which is now paired with a tubeless tire and according to java motorcycles and this is something which has been uh, commented by Mr. Anupam himself on the uh, Twitter that this wheel option is something which will be available even for the existing customers because a lot of existing customers who have the spoke wheel and have the dual channel ABS had a nightmare of a time when it came to fixing their puncture on the rear wheel. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people are looking forward to getting their wheels wrapped with the new version which is the alloy wheel with the tubeless tire. Moving further back, the tank and the side panel, the shape and size remain the same, but it gets a new stickering work. The word 42 seems to be highlighted everywhere in a more modern sporty way. And definitely the word classic legend makes an appearance in a very tiny but evident fashion. The center stand, uh, though it is not visible in any of the photos or the videos, that is something that seems to be removed. This was the case when the Java 42 version 1 came in. The center stand was an optional accessory which you had to purchase it by paying around 700 or 800 rupees. But from the version 1.1 or the 2, this came in uh, as a standard fitting from the showroom itself. But I am assuming that the Java motorcycles have intentionally let go of the center stand because that issue of puncture fixing and the bike to be on the center stand uh, is something which they have negated already. And the center stand was also one of the biggest culprit for the ground clearance issue. It was a center stand which was actually knocking off all the potholes and the speed uh, breakers that was available in the road. So they seems to have made away with the center stand but again this is something which the showroom folks will confirm once the bike is uh, available for the delivery. But what seems to have definitely changed is the design of the side stand. Uh, side stand was functioning perfectly i don't think so there was any issue with it but this seems to have improved it which is definitely a welcome change the next biggest criminal the seat uh, pretty sure all the existing java customers can swear by this the seat on the existing java was something which was terrible java motorcycle seemed to have worked on it so instead of giving a cover which came in as an optional accessory uh, during the version 2.0 java motorcycles have worked on the seat now you get a slightly wider slightly thicker firmer and a better seat uh, according to the java motorcycle so this should definitely ease a lot of pain on the back and make the rides a lot more smoother and enjoyable there's no much change in the silencer it uh, the java 42 continues to have a dual silencer but it's now all blacked out but according to a lot of uh, folks who are giving out the first impression 
the silencers come uh, default tuned for a more bassier sound out of the factory uh, so unlike the fact like wherein we had to go in for the db killer modification to get the type of sound that we want it seems like the java motorcycles are releasing the new version of java 42 with a slightly tuned silencer which will cater to a larger audience and make a lot of heads turn because of its beautiful sound the last but not the least is definitely the engine. It's not just it's all blacked out and everything, but uh, there seems to be a very functional change here. The introduction of what is supposed to be the first of a kind in a single cylinder uh, engine, which is the cross port technology, which will help uh, the vehicle not only improve on the efficiency and also uh, cater to the lot of things related to the emission and also sticking to the BS6 knobs. There seems to be some advantage to this, which is there is approximately about one horsepower increase in the power. So earlier, uh, the horsepower of the BS6 variant was 26.3. The new version of the Java 42 2.1 seems to have gone up to 27.5 horsepower, which is very, very welcome change. There also seems to be a relocation of the lambda sensor. A lambda sensor was also something which was uh, notorious in many cases wherein a uh, lot of people had to get their lambda sensor changed due to faulty lambda sensors or malfunctioning ones. But uh, seems like they have uh, moved the position of the lambda sensor to a better place which will not only help them negate the issue which was already there but also improve on the readout that you get from this particular sensor. Now all in all, these are about 10 to 12 changes that have gone in uh, to the Java 42 2.1 which makes it a really appealing and a worthwhile bike to look forward to. What does it come uh, when it comes to the cost of it? Um, there is approximately about four to 7,000 rupees increase in the price of the Java 42 2.1 compared to the existing model. And um, there are a lot of new accessories also which are available. One definitive thing that they have announced in the video is the availability of the saddlebag, which is something I'm looking forward to. Most of these accessories like the fly screen, grill, the alloy wheels are something which I'm pretty sure the existing customers will be very eager to uh, get their vehicles uh, swapped with. Now does this mean that all the issues uh, when it comes to the vehicle is resolved, all the engine issues and all those things? This is something which again as I told you time will tell. The bike needs to be out on the road to prospective owners, they need to ride it for 6 months or 1 year. And they need to confirm us whether all the issues that we guys faced uh, have the especially the generation one uh, java owners faced have resolved this is something which again time will tell because most of the first impression reviews these bikes are given to these folks for like one day or one week and that will definitely not bring out all these issues the bike needs to be on the road for like at least six months or a year for all these um, issues to pop up now what this actually means is that if you now go to Java Motorcycles uh, website, you see two versions of Java 42 and they are aptly called Java 42 and Java 42. Yeah, it's slightly confusing, but uh, you need to give attention to the wheels and all the blacked out version and of course the three new colors when it comes to the new Java 42 and the old one continues to be the spoke wheels and the elegant colors that it already had. There were a lot of test mule pictures uh, that were shared on the social media several weeks ago which showed uh, test mules like um, the galactic green having the alloy wheels and the black dot engine. Uh, it's not really sure uh, or not uh, anything confirmed by Java Motorcycle if the uh, new version of Java 42 will be available in the older colors also but um, as of now it's only the three new colors in which it will be available and that's something which you can actually go out and book it and enjoy riding. So hope you like this uh, quick summary of all the changes that has been now seen in the new version of Java 42 2.1 which was released this morning and if you really like this uh, please make sure that you hit the like button and if you have any questions uh, please do comment below so that I'll try to see if I can get the answer for it. If not if this is a type of content that you like or if you like the photo moto vlogs that I regularly post then please do subscribe to this channel and support for future. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.